students so today in this video i'm going to explain you how you can do rounding of numbers to the nearest hundred so for these you have a two rules that you need to remember check the number right next to hundred please if the number is five or above five then you need to add one if number is below five then you need the number to let it rest so now we have two number three eight four six and nine nine one one so I'm going to show you how you can do. So let me write 3846 here. Okay, just wait. Let me change the pen. Okay, 3846. Okay, now how, how I'm going to do this is 6 is at 1's place. Then, now we are going to check the 8 because 8 is at 100th place. So, we are going to check the number right next to the 100. So, right next is a 4 number. So, we are going to check the number that is at a 10th place. So, this number just right next to 100 is less than 5 so remember the rule if you have a number less than 5 then you are not going to change the number so your 8 will be as it is 8 so i'm not going to change any number and one more thing that you need to remember is so the number becomes 3 8 0 0 so the last two digit the ones and tens place number will become zero so i'm going to write zero and zero here i'm not going to write four and six now you can see four also become zero so this is the answer okay let's check out one more example nine nine one one So now remember the rule what we are going to do is this last digit is at one's place. Another one is at tens place. So we are going to check the number that is at a tens place. And going to change the number at a hundred place. So now this number is one. So this number is less than 5. So remember if you have a number less than 5 then let the number rest. You are not going to change any number. So 9 will be as it is 9. You are not going to change any number. So 9 became 9. And how I am going to write is 9900. Zero, zero. The last two digit the one at 1's place and the one at 10's place will become 0. So your answer is 9900. So students, let's solve some more examples. Now we have 5564. We are going to do the same method. Five. Five six four. So the last digit is one. And the number at second place is ten. And third one is hundred. So remember what we are going to do is we are going to change the number that is at a hundred place. And the one number at your thousandth place would be remain same. And the last two numbers, the 1 and 10, will become 0. So now we are going to check the number at 10's place. So the number at 10's place is 6 and is greater than 5. So remember, if you have a number that is greater than 5, you are going to add 1 into the 100th place number. So the 5 will become 6. And this 6 and 4 will become 0. 
and this 5 will be as it is you're not going to do anything with this 5 so your answer is 5 6 0 0 so this is your answer okay let's check out three figure number three five four you are going to do the same method your last digit is at one's place another number is at tens place and your last digit is at hundred place so you are going to change the number that is at 100 place but going to check the number at 10th place first. So the number at 10th place is 5 and 5 is greater or equal to 5. So remember if you have a number that is 5 or above 5 you are going to add 1 into the number that is at 100 place. So I am going to add 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4. And this 5 and 4, the last digit will become 0. So the number is 4, 0, 0. Okay, let's move on to some more examples. Okay, now we have a 3 digit number, 291. Okay, going to do the same method. The last number is at 1's place. Another number is at 10's place. And the third one is at 100th place. So I'm going to check my number that is at a 10's place. So this number is greater than 5. So what I'm going to do is, is greater than 5. So if you have a number equal or greater than 5, you are going to add 1 into the 100 place number. So I'm going to add 1 in my 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And the answer will be 300. The last two digit, digit 9 and 1 will become 0. Okay, let's check out our last example. 1983. So going to do the same method, 1's, 10's and 100th place. I'm going to check the number that is at 10's place. So this number 8 is greater than 5. So I'm going to add 1 into 9 number. So now this 9 will become 10, right? So what I'm going to do is, this one is greater than 5. And this 9 will become 10. So now I cannot write 10 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the simple addition method and give my 1 to another 1. So the answer will become 2000. So let's see how I did this one. 1983. Remember the addition rule if you have, if you are going to add 1 and this number will become 10, right? But you cannot do this. So 0 will become at 9's place and 1 is going to add into 1. So this one will become 2. So you need to do simple addition method for these examples. So for more videos, please